Ow. I always end up having to readjust my, um, my... Never, I never come in to these streams, like, fully ready. It's like I put that button and I have to reset my mic, always. Anyways, hello. Hello, it's, I'm back. Um, not affiliate yet. <laughs> um... Still have to hit those average viewers, which I'm pretty sure certain by the time um, later in the month it will happen. Uh, the reason why I say that is because one or two things can happen. Um, number one, I could not stream for three weeks, <laughs> and then tech it, it will actually allow me to do that because the last seven streams I know have like above um above uh three viewers <laughs> but I, I i don't want to spend like entire chunks of like you know i don't want to spend three weeks not streaming that's that's boring so yeah um still gotta wait for the average to come up but every other uh, milestone has been hit, so it's just, you know, a patience game. Anyways, um... Oh, and once I hit affiliate, then I'll set everything up. The only only thing they got me with was, um, uh, build a community. So... Which means I do have VIP stuff, but I'm not gonna hand those out anytime soon. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's continue this run of Bloodstained, the randomizer. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty positive about, like, this run. I just need to go to a couple areas. Um... Visit a couple more things. Oh, shit. Did not pay attention. To where that enemy was. Also, I'm kind of glad that towards the end of that, the, the the last stream with this, I got that high jump. High jump's really good. High jump's really good at traversing shit. Let's see, wait. I should go to the room on the right. I didn't do that last time. Oh yeah, that's just the, um... The shortcut. Oh yeah, no, I have done this. I got to Bloodless, and then I died. And then I went like, oh shit. I'm an idiot. Dimension shift. Come on. Video game. Hit it. Oh god. I was trying to go up. Well, let me go up. Please, game. Why do you, why do you do that? Why do you do that, Clarence? Oh, yeah, this there's nothing in this room besides getting poked in the butt. Let, let's let's attempt this again because I have a feeling that I can do this. There we go I mean it only gives me that But hey, that's just so worth it
Mimic. I always remember shit. I have enjoyed this game too much to, to not get fooled by its bullshit. Let's see, up here... I mean, right here should be another hidden room. Oh, come on, give me something more than gold. I don't really need gold, game. I don't need to be rich. Oh yeah, I heard that fucking uh, fairy tale game came out today. I only know that because of, you know, I saw people playing it or clips from it. And there's a part of me that's like, maybe I should play it. Okay, if, damn it. I'm pretty positive if I do this right, I can do it. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, I need it. I need that second jump. Oh. One more time. Dimension shift is really, really finicky. Oh. Damn it. I'll get it. I'll get it someday. Wait, I'm having to claw this shit. Wait. Game. It will happen. It will happen. I know it will happen. I got up there once. Video game, please. Wait. Speedrun strats that don't actually work. Oh, well, you know what? What if I point? No, I can't. I can't do both of those. All right. Fuck it. We'll just go down here. Fight the dragon. Oh, that was only MP up. Jesus. Man. Video game. Why did you only give me shit? Now we'll try it again. You know what? I need to be higher. I need- I need it- Oh no. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to need the, um, bullshit. Let's just go here, get a couple of things, and then move on. I know there's, like, a chest down here, I think? Yeah. Another MP up! Oh yeah, this is just gonna take me back down anyways. Oh! Oh. I got a rat! The rat! Oh, wait, no. Hmm. 
No. That takes me way back down. Oh, the Dojiki. Oh, Dojikiri. It's still not the Zimats at all. The dumb dog. Let's see here. This should... Oh. There's nothing in the Celeste room. But I guess I should go into the Celeste room. Pop over in every music box. Music. Wonderful music. And this is- okay, it's the save room. I only got 40% of the castle done. Wait. Boss fight! An easy one. Big Dragon's easy. Would be even easier... I say, and then I take damage. And then I take damage again. I have high jump. Why am I using it? There we go. Yeah. Oh, you're not even going to give me a shard this time. I guess I got- oh yeah, I can't farm him here. Hopefully he didn't have anything. That would need- that would be bad. Let's see. Above is block. At least you didn't drop anything. That would have been bad if I couldn't get whatever it dropped. Would have dropped, I should say. Hey, HP up. <laughs> I forget how stupid the fucking um swords are as well. Every enemy in this game is hilarious. I mean, especially the knights. The fact that, like, we don't have any good, um... Like, sound clips of, um... For, uh... The, um... Curse of the Moon ones. Kinda sucks, because I would love if, like, half those knights did a weird 8-bit, um... Crushed, um... Ooh. It would be hilarious. It would be funny. Funny hahas. I dodged it. Mocha leak. 
Pretty sure, yeah, this wall is breakable. Only gets me a potion, though. Jesus. Uh, you breakable? Something I know. There's a hidden room somewhere. I can augment my cons my con. Yeah, not that one. Wait. I remember this way is not forward. Yeah. Gun capacity. I don't need gun capacity. I barely ever use guns. Oh no, I got to see what that is. It could be anything. It was nothing. Every single chest have been MP up or HP up of that so far. I've seen so many of them. Okay, that opens the door. This is a new room. Not worth it. Okay. That's all I need. That goes back to the beginning of the zone. Mm. Let's see what we get. Okay. First one is the save room. There's a chance that both of these are saves. There is a high probability. Nope. Okay, we got a warp. That's good. Capacity. And we hit this. Wait. Nothing. Sapphire. I don't think this... Yeah, these are just books. They're not worth anything. They're just books. Books aren't worth it. Oh, shit. Let's try to see what this is. Go up, farm some shit. Gosh, bloody horse kicked me. Her apparent millionaire's key. Oh boy. We can go, um, at nothing. Damascus. Oh, this one's a summon. Caribous. I'm not doing this. <laughs> No, let me hit you. Oh yeah, I can just ride you. Okay, so... Because I have the millionaire's key, I can go do... The millionaire boss and see what it drops. I can at least make attempts. Because I, I really don't like it. It could drop anything. It can even drop Deep Sinker.
Okay. What do we get? Him stealing my money. Oh shit, he does a lot of damage on me right now. Bells. Okay, boom. Shit. I was not prepared. Plus he was in the center of the room. Melon, melon, melon. Melon, melon, melon. Okay. Nope, that was money. Bars. Oh! That's the bad money, though. Shit! Hmm. Yeah, fried fish. And... There we go. What do we get? Mm. Again? He's dead. Directed shield. That's good. That was worth it. Oh, bunny morphosis. I don't want to farm bunny morphosis. I don't want to be a no bunny girl. I want to. I want to run fast. Let's see. Um. Directed shield is. Wait, no, it's this one. Yeah, this one's a fun one. <sighs> How long does it take? How much does it take up again? Oh, it's okay. Hmm. There's a part of me that wants to make an attempt at the, um, 8-bit nightmare, but, like, that is also a boss... Ah. Boss. Uh, boss that you have to farm. So. Um, I'm going to go back to the beginning. I want to make sure I didn't get, like, silver bromide somewhere. Because I, pr I might have it. And it's always a good thing to check. Before I go do something else. Just so I can clear out that one area that, um... That you need to train for. Yeah, nope. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm going to change the familiar to the caribou's. I I don't care much for um I I never care much for the dull head hand head. It's between that one and I usually do the silver knight, which is the first one that you get. It, it's just I never gave much of a I wouldn't say crap. It's like I never cared much about the summons in this game, though I should. Um, okay. If I go back here, I can go into the chapel and do the chapel. Or I can continue going through some of the underwater shit. You know what? Let's go to the right side of the underwater shit. Maybe I'll find something cool and good. Because the w the way this one's gonna go is um is until I could find um um I'm gonna go until I clear out almost everything that I can and then if I reach a stop point I'm probably gonna farm the enemies for shards just to see whether or not um. 
anything happens. Of course, if we get the Zengetsu toe, then it won't matter. So, it's all dependent upon what I get. Which is kind of, you know, randomizers in general. And then I can't go forward unless I have the passport. Why is the frame rate dying on me on there? I don't know. I just want to try this out, see if I can get a couple of um, charge off of these guys. All right, we are going to go under the ground and into the water. Especially since I have high jump, I can get all those areas. Oh, purple. Oh no, he, he just gave me what he normally gives me. Petra breath. I think that one always gives me Petra breath. Can I use the mention ship? No, okay, that's still the, the... I still have the shield. Down I go! Spiral sword. It would be funny if like a frog just drops his and gets a toe. Just because. I mean, it's like, oh yeah, here, here's this, here's this massively overpowered weapon. Frog had it. Uh, meat dish. Nope. If I remember correctly, I go down here. Yeah. What do I get? Okay, it's this zombie again. Cake. Cakey. Warp. Now this is another dead end area. Oh, yellow is resist darkness. Not even worth it. Wait, let me make sure that there wasn't, like, a hidden one off of this. Nope. Okay. Alright, this is the area I'm looking for. Do this a couple of times. Base lord. A bass lord. What, whatever. No, it would be base lord. Oh, da, 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 we. Nothing. Make sure I get that. This is the nothing room where the dude comes from. I didn't do the quest, so <laughs> poo to that. Let's see. Anything over here? I know there's like one more like breakable. Or it feels like there was one more breakable. Oh, it's you, isn't it? The game freezes up and I'm like, ah, another HP up. Why am I always getting the HP ups? Oh. 
Yep, and this just leads me back to the underwater shit. Yeah, see, that's the problem. I can... I can move underwater? By spamming dimension shift? But unless I have deep sinker, I cannot... Period. Get the, um... Any treasure. So, like that. Right there. You cannot. And that was the, the end of the run last time, was I couldn't find Deep Sinker. It just didn't exist. Um, we already did all of those. I guess I could try going into some of the other areas. Come here. Now let's at least go down here and see what's down here. Whoa, white? Invert. So now I have... Oh wait, this is going to make this a lot easier though. Shit. This is dumb. Now wait, somebody dropped something, so I need to find where it was? This is the dumbest shit in the world. This, this beats dimension shifting everywhere, so... <laughs> this is... this is stupid. This is why I like randomizers. Granted, this neck. Oh no, I just go here. I just do that. Of course, it, it makes the game makes it seem like she's floating down, but like. Because you're technically floating upwards. Let's see, this way. Please, give me something. Okay, you gave me gunpowder. Okay, now invert. We found the hidden desert beneath the ocean. Oh no. Five skeletons. Well, skeleton dragons. I was wondering where it was going. We don't know. 
Jackpot. Yeah, safe room. That's what I need. Just what I needed. Shit, I'm poison, ain't I? There we go. It can do that? They can do that? They can just jump? They can just jump? Oh yeah, that's also probably why I hate this area. Between these guys who give you slow... Everybody with range attacks, the firefuckers. Oh. Okay, this is a warp. That's good. I can warp to a save, then come back. What level am I? 23, okay. Wait. Always have to check. You never know. One of these enemies could just have it. I hope that none one of these enemies have it because then it'd suck. Hmm. Let's double check on something. Something caught my attention. I was like, wait, let me make sure of. Okay. Boss fight time. Okay, yep, making sure. First floor. Nothing but a treasure chest and a frog. Then we go top floor. And we find Albert. Oh, come on. Do I have... Yeah, okay. I have plenty of them. No, come back. Oh, okay. Oh. Are you gonna jump up there? No. Fire hot. Come back here. I want to hit you. Need a hitcher. Gotcha. Let me hitcher. Stand down. Oh, get back here. Shit. 
No, I, I'm not gonna heal until like the curse is off. Now, now is a good time to heal. Come here, Albert. I just want to talk. Shit. The fact that he warps, it sucks. Okay, cool. We're finally away from the slow bullshit. There we go. Okay, fuck off now. There we go down and see what our gains are. So normally this is deep sinker. But of course, shards are, you know, mixed. We have no idea why it could be. It's blue. Craft work. And finally do that puzzle. In fact, let's go ahead and put that there. Nope, 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 nope. Run, run, run. Okay, we will now cure the poison. Oh, you fucking slowing motherfucker. I'm going back to save. No way else. Save. Damage boost to save. Okie dokie dokie pokie. What else do we have? What else can we do? Um, well, there's a lot to do here. Let's... We haven't even seen half of this shit here. Plus, we have invert. We can actually go through the lava place. More specifically, we can go through, um... Oh, yellow. Dag. More reasonably, we can go through the lava place by going in through the other entrance, which requires invert. I should have gone back down because I know there's a hidden room over there. Okay, not a hidden room, but a hidden piece of shit. Wait, hold on. Another waystone.
There should be something on the other end of this place as well. Oh no! Got headbutted. Stop giving me jackpot. I ain't Dante. I'm not the Dante you know and love! Okay. Now to go down, down, down. Down into the depths of the earth. Eh. Nope, 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 nope. He's about to fire. Shit. A bat. Let's see. Oh, I'm out of health recovery items. This is going to be real fun in a second. Shit. Wait. Forgot about this. Talisman. Whoop. And a bunch of emeralds and rubies and shit. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna chance it. I refuse to chance. We at least have a warp point, so if all I have to do is work my way back through. Oh, hello, Mace. Uh, oh, oh, um, let, let's... Yeah, I already know about that. Oh, what would you like to buy? Uh, five. Can I just buy? No, I can't buy the fish sticks. Let's look in equipment and see what I actually have. No, 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 no. Oh, no. And hmm. All right, I'm fine. Let's see. I got part way right through that. I could always come back to it later, though. Let me at least check the cathedral area, and then we'll make our rounds then. Oh, and just to make sure as well... Okay. I just want to make absolutely positively sure that I don't like have like the Zingatsuto somewhere on my person. I have this. I can grab the birds.
And we're not going up that way anytime soon either. We can get this next treasure chest now. I have that. Okay. Bleh. Wait, let's see. First, we check inside every bell. Also, we can go up here now. Easily. Stop doing that! Whoops. Oh. That stayed the capacity. Mahogany! And, whoops. Ah, uh, the fucking poison thing. No. Nope. Oh. Almost missed that one. No, nothing else over here. Hmm. Useless demons, drop what I need. Yet. Come on. Oh, I got my Santa's hat. Oh, but that was a worthless HP up. Only 20 points, too. Let's see. If I remember correctly, you can't really do that one, so you have to go above. All right, let's see. Oh, I never did this one, did I? Nope. I did get those two. Oh yeah, I got those two rooms. Can 
No, I cannot jump and kill the enemies. I have to hit the attack button. Ooh. Valkyrie's sword goes up. Attack go up. Big attacks. Uh, I saw portions of that. Like, he did pretty fine on, like, the early, earlier stuff, but then, like, by level two, he was just like, uh. Being honest, I don't really like nine. I, I, I kind of take, it. nine is one of those things of Mega Man peaked at two. And every other game, it doesn't matter. That's kind of what 9 is. Where it's like, hey, other Mega Man games have added shit. You know, like, um... Oh... I don't know, let's say, like sliding mechanics. Or a lot of their weapons are just... Feel better. But nah, like, 9 is... Eh. I kind of like 11, though. Oh, Silver Bromide. Finally found that. Now I can go take a picture. Um, but first we need to save. Because I think we're about to fight Bloodless. But now I like... I only, I only took a little bit of watching him do that shit. The, if he wanted to play a Mega Man game and beat it tonight, he should have just played two. I need more blood. Blood steel. Yeah, no, I mean, a lot of people can make dev look pathetic when it comes to, like, classic games. I think I, 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 I broke the boss. Hold on. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna... Oh, damn it. The boss has to come here. There we go. What am I getting? Purple? Oh. That's worthless now. And now, like, I've... I think last year I played through all the classic Mega Man games. Like, all for the, like, both Legacy collections. And, like, um... <laughs> Like, 
So like out of all the Mega Man games I I ended up playing, because I have pretty much all of them now, like on the Switch, or at least two of the collections on this. Wait, no, I have four collections on the Switch because I have both the X collections and the regular Mega Man collections, plus um, Mega Man Eleven. But he started with, like, the uh one. What? Oh. Yeah, okay. That goes back there. I want to go down. Open this up. Fight the dragon. This is bad. Okay, this, and then, there we go. Oh, come on, give me something good, game. You know, watching Dev play that game makes me almost want to play Mega Man again. And try to outdo him. But I know if I do that, it's just going to be him, like, shitting on me anytime I make a minor mistake. Even though... <laughs> But either way, I, I, I kind of want him to see, like, De Big Dev do, like, one of the, the newer Mega Man uh, 11. Because I actually like that one. I mean, the stages are kind of long, but, like, it feels more in line with, like, what the Mega Man games were towards the end. Or more, more apparently, like, what they were with, um... Five and six, than what um, they ended up being with nine and ten because nine and ten are just uh, Mega Man two. Oh. But I really. Kind of want to replay through those games, but I'm I'm packed. I'm packed now. <laughs> I want to get through this, and I want to get through E's, and then like next week, I you know, Fantasy Star Two updates, and I want to go through that, and I'm like oh shit. Uh, okay, so got the silver bromide, so. And after that is five point three and Final Fantasy fourteen, so there's that shit. So any kind of like game, I have to like really think about plus it's not like I can't go through those games in like an hour ish I mean granted I only played them one time like I should probably show these materials I found to Dominique uh-huh oh do I have to do oh I have to do this okay um, odds are, if you played a Fantasy Star game on the GameCube, that's Fantasy Star Online Episode 1 or 2, or it's Fantasy Star Online uh, Episode 3, which is a weird card game. Those are the only two that you could have played. I love Fantasy Star Online. I played that uh, a lot um, on the Dreamcast, and then, of course, the GameCube when the GameCube version came out. I never played Episode 3 of it, 
which um was this that, that weird card game and then like um there was an episode four that was part of the pc version which was called blue burst and while i went through blue burst i didn't think um oh no 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 okay wait 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 If you played it on the... Hmm. Because that almost sounds like Fancy Star 2, which I know not of a GameCube version of that. But, um... Because there is a Game Boy Advance versions of, um... Ep uh, of, um... Oh shit, no, I don't need to go this way. I need to go talk to OD. Damn it. I forgot what what I'm supposed to do. Um But yeah, there was a Fantasy Star collection for the Game Boy Advance that had one, two, and three on it. Number two was um one where like a guy is part of some kind of um investigating police force type thing. If, like, one of the thing, like, if your first party member was this um, purple-haired, elfish-looking chick, then that's what you're thinking of. If it... May... If it was PS2, then that's probably it. Because, um... There are... There is a PS2 version of those games. However, um... Let me double check this. Okay. However, um... They're Japan only? I believe? Like, there's just big old PS2 remakes of, like, Fantasy Star 2. That, um... Never came to North America, but they did, like, you know, they did exist. Okay, talk with OD. Skip. Skip. Okay, what can I use? Okay, I'll use my... Oh, okay, Fantasy Star Universe. Is the 360 game. I'm not sure if it's on PS3, but I know it was definitely on the um the 360, and that was kind of a I wouldn't say follow up to um I wouldn't say follow up to Fantasy Star Online, but it was like within the kind of same vein and formula. There was also PSP games that took place within the exact same thing. Oh yeah, I mean, like, I, I barely played that one because, like, I didn't really have, um, Xbox Live at the time. But, but there's, um, PSP games, which are the Fantasy Star Portable games, and then there's also, um... Yeah, the control. Well, of course it is because of the um, handheld controls. There's also Fantasy Star Zero, which is a DS game, and then of course you have PSO2, which it's on the Xbox One, it's on the Microsoft Store, but next week it's coming to Steam. Um, and it's also finally going to be available in like more countries than just the United States. Because that's one of the problems was like it seemed like Microsoft had a deal with Sega because um, New Genesis, which is a weird separate game that is part of Fantasy Star Online 2, uses Microsoft Azure, and I'm starting to think that like part of them using Microsoft Azure was bringing over Fantasy Star Online to the um, West. Granted, it's on every system in, um, 
in Japan. It's on PS2. It's on, um, I think the Switch. But, like, with the Switch version, it's, like, one of those cloud support games things. Where, um... Where, like, because Japan's internet is very good, you can stream games to the P uh, the, to the Switch. Like RE7. But yeah, I, honestly, I think PSO2 is a, a really good game. It, it just kind of sucks that, like, Microsoft had basically um, uh, screwed it up a bit, considering, like, they had an exclusivity deal for a while. But as soon as that deal's over, it'll, it'll all be fine. Oh. Oh, it's a sword. Oh yeah, I can't go up there. Oh. Miriam, get this open. Yeah. I mean, they've screwed up a lot of stuff. You know, it, it kind of sucks that you have, like, a bunch of, um, companies that Microsoft recently bought. I mean, granted, some of them are... I don't care about. Oh, shit, there comes Dev. He's come. Hello. Welcome. I'm fighting a boss. Thank you for the follows! Oh shit. Did, um, Dev fail? I'm, I'm pretty sure that Dev failed, didn't he? A lot? Yeah, no. I, I mean, when I was watching him, he was- he, he kept dying. Well, welcome to a game that I don't die a lot to. Oh, did he make it past Last Woman? Oh, he got seven bosses down. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot that, like... I, 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 I kind of forget, like, some of the weaknesses for, um, Splash Woman. It's the, the Hornet one. Yeah, the Hornet Chaser. Which is always a nice thing. Well, Hornet Chaser is good because you can at least pick up the items that are out of reach. But yeah, getting seven bosses in what, like two hours? So Sonic Comics the best of the art. Um, yes. Um, he's been in there for like a week after launch. Um, I'm on the randomizer, so I'm I'm not gonna be able to do him. But no, he's he's been there since like a week after launch for any non-backers. And best of arcs. Um, let's see. I personally like the arc. Fucking what it was called? Scrambled. Which is technically Sonic Universe. Um, where it's just focused upon Robotnik finding um, Snively, who betrayed him. That one's a good one. Yeah. That's probably one of my favorite arcs, because it's just... This showcases Robotnik is able to own everybody. It's just because of Sonic. That he cannot. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh no, I... <laughs> It is. I, I really like some like some of the monster designs in this. I mean, look at this. This is just a dog's head. I think I think cer certain bosses don't look right. Any kind of the goopy monsters never look that great to me. But like a lot of the designs in this game are good. Oh no, these. Fucking monkeys. What is it? Oh, great sword expertise. Oh no. Yeah, they're always the the worst parts. Any any even the frogs are. But like the worst part is the jumping um frog ones in the oriental um lab. Those are the biggest pains in the asses in the world. What do I got? Red Remembrance. Oh. But yeah, this is the randomizer run where everything... Well, not everything. A lot of stuff are, is randomized. Where... Right now, I have my shards randomized, so, like, uh, I don't know where, um, stuff like Deep Sinker is. <laughs> and at any moment in time, I could always get this in Getsuto and, like, um, yeah, no, that, that was one of the things I found super, well, not super early on, it was about, like, at the end of last stream that I did this. Deep Sinker... Deep Singer is a pain, but, like, it could be anywhere. And unless I get it... I move so fast. And unless I get it, I'm kind of fucked. Because, like, there's always those chests at, like, um, the underwater cavern. Oh, shit. Like... All those chests in the underwater cavern are pretty much locked from me. Shit! There we go. It's fine to take damage. <laughs> Shit. Oof. Um. Yeah. I know that, but that was always the stupid part, because it's like, you would think that you would get, like, something like that, like, off of a boss instead of random e enemy. Of course, because this is a randomizer, um, what am I getting? <laughs> Why do I need double jump? Um, like, I was able to, I think the jellyfish dropped, um, in this run, it dropped, uh, invert. So I got through the underwater segment by just inverting and just, like, using high jump to get through certain segments. Huh? Inferno Breath. The previous run I did of this game on, like, randomizer when I randomized the shards, the very first boss... Um, I'm sorry I have Dimension Shift, so it's like, fucking. Yeah, no, like, that's, that's the point of, like, um, randomizers. You, you can get anything at any point in time, if you set it up for that. I think it's this? Yep. So, like, I've already gotten invert. I've already gotten, like, um, I got high jump before, um, double jump. I already got dimension shift. So, the moment I get to the Zangetsuto, I can just aim for bail. The problem is, Zangetsuto can drop anywhere. Also, I forgot about the other hidden room.
Kitty cat. Okay, let's see. Oh! Like, right there, there's the Aegis plate. Instead of being up on that tower, it was just right there. I've also got it set so that, um... Save rooms and war points are also randomized. So, if I go through the map, like... There's a ton of the save rooms that used to be, um, warp rooms. Like, I believe it was this one right here where it used to be a warp. But now I have, like, three saves. That means I have to go back through the entire area or use a waystone. Whoops. Uh, not procedurally generated, just randomized. That's the entire point. Like, um, so, uh, like, at the beginning of this run, you basically set, um, s certain things, like, um, you can set that, like, shards drop from different enemies, or you can set it so that th the shards will always drop from the, the original enemies. Which, so, like, if you wanted Deep Sinker to always be after the Alfred fight, you could have it that way. You could also set items to be the exact same way. So that, um, you could, um, do that. You can also set the, the point to which, um, the game is, um, the game ends. Uh, for example, you can make it so that, um, um, the run ends at, um, Jeebel. All you have to do is be Jeebel. You don't even have to have the Zangetsu Toe. You can make sure you can do it if only you had, um... A beat Bale. Or you can, um, make it so that you have to be both Jeebel and Bale. And I'm doing Jeebel and Bale. Um, yeah. Miriam is a really good design. Oh, wait. So, like, of course... Actually, items, equipment actually changes, like, how she looks a little bit. I gotta put on the Santa hat. But I keep the Valkyrie one on because it increases my luck, and luck is what I really, really want. And they create the Aegis plate. You know what? Fuck it. Since I have people, there's also an ability called Burning Morphosis. And when I get to the, um... Let's see. I should be able to show it off here. So you have these, um, lilums. Oh, lilies, sorry. And if you just have bunny morphosis, which on a normal run would drop from them, you also become a lilum. You only do punches and kicks, though. And there's other things. Yep. And that's just an ability that you can get. It was one of those things, like, at the very beginning of the game, um, when the game first came out, was overpowered. But I never did that. What I used to do, and I don't have it with this one. I don't think yet. No, I have not found it yet. Um, there's an ability called Heretical Grinder. Yeah, it got nerfed. Um, there's an ability called the Heretical Grinder, which, um, purple shards are directional ones. So I'll use flame cannon. Right stick points in a direction. Right trigger fires. But there's a shard um, that you get called the heretical grinder that shoots out a sword as long as you hold it. And when I first played this game, I would just um, I would just use that over and over and over again. It was just one of the most overpowered things. Like, the Ega boss. Um. The Ega, um, hidden boss. Where you, you fight, um, Kogashi Ega. Um. You can just sit in front of him, like, duck like this, and just have, like, the heretical grinder, and just, like, sh like, wreck his shit. 
it's super easy with that. I, I think that one got nerfed as well. But, like, so it's not as inf effective. But, like, it's still, it's still probably easy moto for a lot of it. Oh. Whoops. Oh, also, because this is also based upon Symphony of the Night, there are... Um, abilities for certain um, weapons. So quarter circle four does this. I think some of them are more complicated than others. I would have to go into one of my um, um, other files. See? Uh, let's see. Uh, what else? Where else can I go? Hmm. You know what? Go back to the desert. I think there's a couple that are actually kind of complicated. Oh, yeah. Tight fuck. I'm trying to remember if, like, I have any of those on me. Because I, I don't read any of the books here. Since I don't know which weapons I'm actually going to have. Plus, you don't need to actually, like, even read those books to figure out, like, the moves. Let's see. We go up and over. Fuck it. No, go away. See, guys, unlike Devin, if I get hit and I'm trying to go do something, I don't just sit around and go, oh, I need to full health. Then again, this is Castlevania, not Mega Man. In all honesty, the 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 um, weapons I choose the most are the um, the swords and the um, the katanas. I never really screwed around with like the guns or the um, the spears. You mean Dev? Because like, <laughs> yeah, I could tear into Dev. I, I, I kind of, like, I know he, it's been a while since he's played that. I kind of wanted to see him do, like, um, Mega Man 11, since that's the newer one. I know he'll hate it because it's 3D and whatnot, but I like that game. Let's see, get this, fried fish. Hold on, let's, let's switch to... That directed shield. Oh yeah, I can only do that once. I can't move into it. Oh, he got behind me. I mean, one of the things I've heard rumored for a while now is that because of like the success of Mega Man 11, we are probably going to get an X9. It is probably going to happen. And hopefully it'll be better than what X7 and X8 were. Like, I have those games on the collection, and I haven't really touched them. Like, I've only played the first five X games, and I only really like, um... I like one and four the most of the X ones. But like every game like pat like playing five just a little bit was like a pain in my ass. Like I had to really push through that one. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. I, I never played any of the ZX games. And now when I remembered, I forgot, like 
since I had recently finished um, Cir uh, Curse of the Moon, I just forgot that like I had actually played um, other anti crate games because technically Mega Man Nine and Ten are um, anti crates. I don't know. Oh man, I'm. I forgot if um, Dev have, David Dev have ever played Mighty, Mighty Number no. Nine. I really want to see him go through some like something as shit as that game. Can I just? Oh yeah, I can just do that. Oh yeah, Doberman one. Poor doggo. Beheaded. Oh wait, treasure chest. Oh no. Oh god. Yeah, no, it, it's it's badly optimized. It's so it's such a bad game. I have it oh wait, I missed the treasure chest. Oh no. Hold on. There we go. I forgot there was a treasure chest in that room. I didn't see it. Oh god. See, I, I I never put down money from it. Like to me, I never cared about um Mega Man as much. So like um So one day I pirated it and I played through it at launch and I went like oh no. And then eventually I did at least um, get it part of that, um, what is it, um, PlayStation Plus, had it for free. So I got it for, I got it for free <laughs> because of that. And this is not a warp. I have enough to get through shit. Mm. And I, I, I kind of understand why, you know, anybody would buy it because like, I mean, come on, it's a Mega Man game. Capcom said they weren't really doing Mega Man anymore. But it, it just felt like, and I'm being honest, I think the problem was always Keiji Inafune. Like, every, everything since, like, he, him le leaving, um, Capcom, it took a while, but Capcom started doing better. No. Because Inafune was like part of that, oh yeah, um, Japanese games suck. Western game devs are better. That was his bit for like that first part. You gotta appeal to the Western market. And it's like, no. And thankfully, Capcom has done better, except for their fighting game division, which continues to just flounder over and over again. Yeah, I mean, and that's also like... <sighs> like, Mega Man 9 is kind of that way as well, where it's like... As I... I'm said earlier, I mean, before most of y'all came here, Mega Man 9 is like, Mega Man 2 was the best Mega Man game, and every other Mega Man game since isn't as good. I'm kind of sitting there thinking like, I liked 4, 5, and 6. You know, I like having the slide. I liked having stupid things like, um, like the rush shit, where like you can combine. Uh, no, DOA is definitely, uh, Tecmo Koei. 
Ca um, Capcom is Street Fighter and Dark Stalkers and there's one other one. Rival Schools? Plus the Marvel vs. Capcom series and the vs. Capcom stuff. Yeah, no, it, it's it's legitimately... Yeah. I, I, I think part of it was, like, there is money for it. There is reasons to, um... That people like having a, um... People like Mega Man. I just feel like part of it might have been like KG going, no, it has to be like this. Oh yeah, Power Stone. Capcom made a lot of fighters. I think like the only other company that makes like as many fighters. Man. Like SNK has a lot and they're doing better. In certain ways. I mean, they're finally making another King of Fighters. Of course, this Arc System works. They make a lot of good ones. Yeah. I think there's a rumor that they are going to actually release a full game of Metal Slug eventually. Don't quote me on that. I mean, they kind of are. Like, they kind of are because I think... To a point, yeah, because they do do almost everything now. But they're in the position where, like, um, Capcom was in, like, years ago. Where they were the th the the thing. Oh, it's this fucker. Oh, it's just gonna start me here. Even though I came in through the other door. Yeah, it sounds like a mobile game. <laughs> Let's see. I should be able to... No. Um, KG right nowadays, like, he works for, uh, um, what is it, uh, not Factor 5, it's, um, the other one, Level 5. Because, um, Level 5, no, 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 he doesn't work for Indie Crates, he, he, KG has his own company called Comcept. Like, and all Concept is, is a conceptualization company. And because of, like, all their failures, like, they got bought by level 5. Because KG knew somebody from level 5. Yep. Computer Concepts. All they are is a an actual, like, um, conceptualization company. They just make ideas and they hire other companies to to create them. <laughs> hey! You missed me shit talking you. Oops. Are ya? I mean, granted, like, I barely play Mega Man's. So, uh, you know, you cannot at least... I heard that you only beat seven bosses, though. Nah, spicy chat. Oh no, I saw, like, the spice. Let's see what I'm getting. White? Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God I got Deep Sinker. 
Now everything opens up. Okay, we got a warp. Yep. Gotcha. Last run that I had, I n couldn't find Deep Sinker in any place. Of course, they gave me two warps. At least I don't have to farm anything. That's the good part of this. I just now have to find the Zengetsuto. Yes, no, it is. Um, or more specifically, um, you need a deep sinker and and a norm non normal or uh, non randomized run to get through to get to um a couple of the alchemy labs. Basically, I'm going through this game backwards right this second because you used to not come through here. Um, unless you had, um, unless you had Deep Sinker, and you go through an alchemy lab, and then you get through here, and then you would get Invert. Yeah, you need an Arker Jet, then you go to the desert, then you get Deep Sinker, then you would, um, go to the alchemy lab, then you would go here, get Invert, then you would be able to go into the Oriental lab... It's a it's it's a Metroidvania, you know. You need it. You need your progressive items. Oh no. But the real stopper is the Zengetsuto, because on the Zengetsuto, I don't know. I know they've made um, improvements, but I have no idea if they fully fixed it. I mean, this is the PC version, so. That's why there's a, uh, Xbox controller settings. Okay, that's just healing. Oh no. Mm. Of course, the certain. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be real fun in a second. So, like, this thing, item that I'm using, the mission shift. You don't get until, like, the next to last boss. And it allows you to access the final boss. Let's see. Shift. Shift. Oh, no. Oof. Okay, this is gonna be fun. I just gotta run. Yep, no, um, I thought they did, they would just, uh, WayForward wasn't just, wasn't the Switch port, it was more of, like, just general helping out. The, the, the worst part of this game's, like, performance-wise is, um, I think the boss is named Valifor. Oh, no. This is going to be fun. Um, he's a boss in technically Curse of the Moon. But, um... Shit. Okay. How is this going to be... Okay, I'm going to do this. Okay. I don't have a single waystone. F. Hmm. There we go. Think something's up ahead. Either a. S nope. Come on. Come on. This is. Oh, it's not. Shit. Okay. Let's see here. I got at least a scrambled egg, so I got some form of health. I got the Aegis, 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 sorry. 
plate on, right? Yep. Okay. So I can just fuck with this. See what this gives me. MP up. Okay. Uh, I thought there was a safe spot after before the boss, but there isn't. So. What can I do? What should... Shit. Oh, this is bad, bad, bad. Let's see if I can just make my way back. I should have just took those warps. You don't hear this being spammed over and over again. Okay. Let's see. Down. Down. Oh no. This is fuck. This is fuck. I know there's something else here. Oh boy. Well, I guess I gotta go do the boss again. Wait, where was the last time I saved? That's gonna be the worst part. How far back am I? Oh no. Oh god. Okay. I know at least enough to, um,. Yeah, next time I'm just going to take the warp after beating the next boss. Especially since that gives me Deep Sinker, so I have to do him. Let's see here. I'm just gonna gun it. Did I? Okay, at least I'm at least was past the point that I had the Aegis plate, so that was good. Um, we don't know. Um, there is cur current plans are um. There's a few more updates. Um, for example, um. What was it? There is still another playable character they're working on. Who it is, we don't know. He said that it's not Dominique. I don't believe him. Um, there is also supposed to be some crossover event with... Um, with some... Something? I'm not really sure what it is. Oh no. The Corgi is the, the bloodstained thing, or the Curse of the Moon stuff. I don't think it will be the Corgi. <laughs> it would be weird if it was the Corgi. If I had to guess, there's there's two, there's a few, there's a few um, characters it could be. You could have it be Jeebel, you could have it be Alfred, or you could have it be O.D. Oh yeah, no. I I would assume that like if he if that he probably will have plans on making a sequel, especially since they put out Curse of the Moon two. Granted, that's anti crates. That's a separate timeline series, whatnot. Yeah, that was no warp. I wouldn't mind him doing another one. Um. For next gen platforms. Oh yeah, I forgot to did I check this one? Okay, is this MP? I mean, granted, all the, all that stuff is a different timeline. <laughs> so like 
motivations, plot, you know, plot reasonings are completely different between games. Like Dominique being the main villain of this game. Oh, no, I, like, yeah, I mean, all Alfred does in here is he runs around and he throws some potions. He doesn't even have some of his bullshit abilities in, like, Curse of the Moon. Yeah, no, that that's that's kind of the plot twist of this game. It's like, it's obvious someone's the, a villain. I mean, these games are not really played for stories. Wait, was there anything in here? Yeah. I mean, like, hell, they have, like, boss rush modes in this game and everything else, so... Okay, so I, I see. Miriam just goes into this. I was like, why did Miriam appear in over here? Oh, yeah, she just walks. Whoops. I'm not going to let you beat me, you dumb thing. You know what? Let's just play on his level. Okay, no. Oop. Hit the wrong button! I accidentally hit RB. I have fried fish and a potion. Yeah. Randomizers are completely funny. I, I kind of want more games to have those. But like, I know, like, just built in. Like, um... Um, the Kingdom Hearts 2 community has recently made a randomizer for Kingdom Hearts 2. More specifically, the Final Mix version of the game. And, like, some of that stuff is getting hilarious. Where they're adding randomized bosses. So that, like, with certain bosses, you could be fighting anyone. But it doesn't work out as well as you like to think. There's always issues. Um, biggest, for example, is, um, if Sephiroth is part of the randomization, which I, for the most majority of he, it, he is, um, he will, you can just die instantly the moment you see him. And he can be any, because the reaction command that you have to do at the start of his fight just does not go off. There's also some funny things like, um, because Roxas is not meant to have certain abilities, um, like dodge roll or uh, magic or a bunch of different stuff. Um, all of his shit, like, he will T-pose and crash the game if you use, like, magic. I saw one streamer recently um, do the um, randomizer with, um, what was it? They did the randomizer and like, they get um, one of the Zimnus forms when he's in the chair. Um, as well as that weird, um, robot boss from, um, what is it, uh, Halloween Town? And they're just, 
he did just T posing around. It's one. It's it's randomizers are hilarious. I kind of like them. I just kind of wish that um we get more official ones. I, I wish I would get more official ones than, um, like, unofficial ones, because unofficial ones are not, uh, you know, can have issues. Like, of course, all this kind of started with, like, I think, A Link to the Past. People randomized that game a lot. Uh, yeah, no, I have the Aegis, um... I have the Aegis Plate, which normally you would not, I got that a, a, a minute, a while back. Um, that's normally after you get um, the Invert because, or at least um, a High Jump. Uh, no, they did not. It's all like Disney and Pixar before like, um, so no Star Wars, no, um, Marvel shit. And I'm not even sure if like that's ever going to be a thing that, um, Nomura ever adds. Like the very next game that they're playing or putting out is the, um, uh, Melody of Memories. You have to go through that spike floor and you need the Aegis thing and then like, yeah, but you need invert first because it's in the, in one of the towers, the dragon towers. Let's see, is there, okay, yeah, there is. I ran around the long way. Let's see. I can always go down there and get, fill out that shit. Yeah, let me go back to town so I can get some warp waste stones. I'm getting tired of not having those around. Let me just. Yeah, no, it, it's a really good game. Like, like there, there are a lot of points in this game that like, like stump me. The Aegis plate thing is like the, the first one. Like, um, uh, where is it? Let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I can do it from here. Um, the Aegis plate thing should be right here. You have to invert, like after the boss. But that's only when you have invert. And it's one of the few times within this game that you need an item. Um, the other one is the Zengetsuto, which, um, which you'll get after a certain boss. And then, um... Yeah. She is. Oh. What are we transmuting this time? Oh yeah, I don't have the craft. I'm... Trans I don't have to transmute. I don't even have things that I want to in in upgrade. Let's see. This and waste dumps.
Okay, let's see. I can go back there and do that. No, wait, no. Th there's no reason. There's absolutely no reason this time. Because my goal is to go through the other underwater path. No, right. Huh? Gave me kick. Alright. Should be able to get a couple of more treasure chests around here. Like this one! What do you have? 500 gold. Never mind. And then we just go to the left and go down. But first! After the last time, no, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to save. Granted, I do have items now. <laughs> Damn it. At least I'm only taking one damage to, to all these guys. Let's check, see what this one is. Probably nothing. Manju. And that other way is the way back to the other oriental lab, or not the oriental lab, the other alchemy lab. So let's at least clear out this path first. Wait. Yeah, clear out this path first. Oh, no, that's a warp. That's not the way out. No, let me through. Kind of wish I also had that um, underwater speed thing. There's, there is an ability that allows you to walk faster underwater. I just don't have it. Oh no, I thought that died. Never mind. Let me ignore you motherfuckers. Okay, here we got fried fish. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm I'm just lucky that I have all my um all the shards that I need. I don't have to go farm. I don't have to go farm. There's um a hidden 
um, enemy in the um, on the train. It is one of the biggest pains the ass is to fight. Because you have to sit... You have to um, sit down on... Um, in a chair. And it looks out the room. Yeah, jump scare guy. And it's legitimately like a minute or two of waiting. And I hate waiting. Okay. I mean, I forgot what he... Oh, yeah, he gives you curse resist normally. Oh, they gave me another safe spot. <laughs> yeah. The way I've done it is, like, I have to, like... The way I did it last time I tried him was, um... What was it? I had to, um... Run away from him with Accelerate. And then, um... I would sit down on one of the um, roof areas and just, like, use Heretical Grinder. Oh, no. Good thing I have health items. Let's see, let's at least heal. I should stop ungoing. But uh, I find ungoing works out really well. Yellow. Oh. Hmm. I guess I can go back through this area and double check all the stuff that I missed. Because I really sped through everything else. When I was trying to get back to find a safe spot. Let's see. There was the guy down here. There was this stuff down here. Oh wait, no. What am I doing? Nope. And then there's a room. Yeah. It's always the yeah there, the wait time's always easier on the left than it is on the right, so it's always a pain in the ass because it's like you might as well warp. Okay, the that other place wasn't anything. And that stuff was nothing really. Okay, so the biggest place I should go. Or, really, the only place that I should go that might have stuff is the Oriental Lab. Everything else has been kind of exhausted. And if I miss something, I can always come back. But you can never, like, sit back and just enter, exit. Because, like, if you enter from left, you always have to exit from the right. Same thing with right, you gotta always exit from the left. 
unless you warp afterwards and then it just becomes running all the way back from the warp point wherever that could be which on a normal run it's like right there wait gotta go the other way again Let's just double check this. I don't think it'll happen. Nope. Okay. I really wish I had accelerator right now. That that the first run that I did randomized shards. The first boss dropped the accelerator, which is an RB move, which just you just run at the top speed. In normal playthrough, you don't get it until like um really late on, later on um in um what was it in like the bigger area oh i forgot this room oh let's see here Start. Well, you know what? No. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. I can ignore the puzzle. Ignoring the puzzles is always good. I hope you like Japanese places because this is the worst. Oh. Let's see. I don't have him. There's no treasure chest down there either, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it, it's one of those ones that you... I don't know. It is legitimately like... You kind of think, oh yeah, you know, you need to find a shard or a thing. But no, it's an item. Also, this is the area why I really hate these bloody fucking monkeys. They're just the worst. Here. Wait. I need to go this way. Up is a... No? Okay, never mind. Up. Up is optional. Okay, yeah, that just takes me back to the cathedral. And I already got the stuff there, so. Now here's the best puzzle in the game. Time to figure out how to get to the next area. Let's see. This way, then this way will take me here. If I remember, I go here, and then I'm able to break the wall. Got some soy sauce! No. Let 
No, that's not it. Is it this one? No. Okay, no, it's this way. Alright, even funner. One. Okay. Trying to tackle all the op optional ones first. Yeah. Okay. Then we go back through. Was there anything else in this room besides- No, okay. Sponge. Okay, you're gonna be- You're still a warp. I'll take the one near, um... Jeeble, because that's the one that always becomes a pain in the ass. Or at least those are the ones that are always close. Okay, back to the Oriental Lab. Now it's fun time for the even best part, which is me damage boosting or not willing to engage on anything here. If this run ends up having the Zengetsu toe on its on the boss that it normally drops from, that's gonna be fun. Let's see. Nope. Still need the carpenter ski. The room was made for not engaging with the content. Ah. Drinks! <laughs> Only HP. Which I guess is fine. I need more HP. It ain't fully healed me, so. Okay, down here. Don't engage. Alright, thanks. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. 
Yeah, thanks for coming out. You're welcome for, like, the kind of, like, what you should be doing in this game. Plus, you know, you know, next spoil boss is technically way past where you are, or... So, yeah. Good night! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, good night as well, Snittle. I don't know why I hit that button. Also, he should be in the next phase. Or it feels like he should be in the next phase. Or I might not be at the l at the g oh there he goes. Oh. Oh fuck you. Shit. This might be another one of those fun fights where I fuck up a lot. Though then again, I might be. Oh, uh, might be. F right, fine. Damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna use that last one. Oh! Oh, cool. We're, just, we're in the last phase. You know what? Hold on. I forgot I can do this. Wait, no. Jeebles classes. I lose some ability, but... Okay. And then he's gonna do that. Shit. Oh no. I thought you would prove more capable. Damn. Well, at least I'm towards the village I should be. Right? No, 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 no. I saved that Jeebles. Okay. I was doing well until I decided, like, oh, oh, I'm super close to beating him. You know what? Let's just do that, period. Where...
Oof. So, oh, yeah, I have blood steel. I can. It's not gonna do much, but I have blood steel. Okay, it's gonna heal me as well, so... Oof. Okay. Heal. Get that smoothie. Nope. Don't no. Hit the wrong button. Okay, at least I ha I have enough for this. And blood steel. Oh, he backhand me. Ten more. Eight more. Three more. Four more. Okay. There we go. What am I getting? Carpenter's key. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. It's like, he might as well just hand me an, like, the L of... Oh... Well, at least the carpenter is super. I have to kill the carpenter, and that's the last chance I really have outside of just searching chests. And I'm pretty sure there's a couple of chests I missed. And probably a couple of, um. God. What is it? Um. Hidden walls. I bet it's in the in a hidden wall that I've missed. And there's plenty that where it could be, like Let's see, I want to talk to you. I want that. I want that. Let's see. Let's see if the carpenter has anything. Because otherwise it's searching through everything that I've missed. To try to find... You know, the Zengetsuto. And there's a couple areas. Like, um... Hold on, I'll, I'll see when I do this. Because this might be another bust of a run otherwise. Like, down here, there's these two chests that I know I haven't touched. And they're underwater. And let's see. There's no chest I know over there. 
we've exhausted all of the other shit. Pretty sure. And when I went through this, none of these had it. And none of this had it during here, unless I missed one. Which could have always been a, a, a case. I'm pretty sure I got everything on the ship. So it's either the carpenter. Okay. It's either the carpenter or those couple of chests, and I would be mad if it's like those couple of chests. It means that I didn't have to do this. Oh, did it uninvert me? Oof. Oh no. Shit. Oh no, this is bad, 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 bad. Yep. I'm going to check those treasure chests. I'm going to do those first, and then I'm... I'm not even sure if the carpenter drops anything. Alternatively, let's at least look at the demons. Because I might have missed something. That's... That's that one. Living fossil. Uh, one match. Oh wait, no, all these enemies. Never mind. Um. Wait. Millionaire's vein. The carpenter and all that stuff over there. What's this? Or who's that? Hmm. Hmm. Because it can't be, um, the... Oh my god, did I forget a boss? I did doppelganger. I did the fire dude. I did Alfred. You, you do Balthazar, which is that one. You do the train. Abyssal Guardian half. Oh, I guess that's Jeebel. Yeah, that's probably Jeebel. Now we come to the part of the randomizer in which, oh god, 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 oh god. Please. Please be kind, video game. Wait. Okay, that was only 500. I might actually have to pull up a, um, not a, a guide for, um, boxes, but rather a, um,
What is it? Like, making sure that I took care of all the hidden areas. Now this one's red, so hopefully it has something important. Please have something important. Thousand gold. Nothing. Let's see. Outside of double checking back around those areas. Which I'm probably going to have to. Because most of the other stuff that I haven't shown has been chests that respawn rather than something you need. That's the fucking Belmont boss. That's a respawning chest. Nothing's usually up here, nothing there. Connections, Jeeble. Nothing's usually there. Let me... Music is going to stop because of course it will. I need to look up one little thing. Um, before I move on. Uh, Carpenter Boss... Bloodstained. Whoops. Misspelled that. Uh, Master Carpenter, do you drop items? Yes, you, he has a chance of dropping an item. A chance. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Maybe I'm missing something else. That's gonna suck in a second. When I'm like, oh. Hmm. You know, we'll just take this down. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go to the fire area again and just double check around there. Just in case! Because I just don't want to fight the carpenter if it's going to be like, um... Worst part, it might be in one of these um, mimics. Flamethrower. Oh, welcome company. The painting shit. Hmm. Okay, then we have this place over here. Which didn't give me anything last time. Well. It didn't give me what I want last time.
Once again, those things wig out when you do kill them. Mm. Whoops. Flying puppy. Oh, no. Oh no. That was the scrambled eggs, okay. Oh shit, it was right there in front of the <laughs> Oh god, this is not working out well for me at all. Okay. Now we're at least back here, but we've already exhausted this- well... Okay, we haven't really. Resist curses? Oh cool, you have it. What's worse is that there's a chance that Zengetsuto is a drop off of any enemy. And that's, that's, that's no bueno. <laughs> no bueno. Okay, nearly every single enemy I fought has been giving me yellows. See, that one gave me a flame whip. And you were MP up, okay. That still leaves... I love that we're at this part of the run. The part where it's like... <laughs> Let's see, I can always go back that way, but I know there's nothing there. I cannot... and didn't go through the desert as well. Um... Then it's just... Checking any area that I failed to get the first time around. But I'm pretty sure that I've gotten most of everything. And then... That's the worst part. And if I, if I don't get to a certain point in a second, I'm just going to stop for the night. Go down here, I'm gonna go. Okay, first of all, you know what? I probably have the materials to make EX potions so I can buy them. Wait. First this. Then this. Okay. Next os option to exhaust. Um. Oh. Oh, I never checked up here, did I?
One one of the things I wish I kind of wish they would give you because I know the the KH2 randomizer does this because they give you like a little spoiler one where you you can check if you you get super stuck and you can't think of anything else to go look at where like certain things are. I kind of wish they would do that for the seeds where like if you're given an option, it will just tell you, like, okay, this item is here. I mean, I, I know that kind of defeats the point of a randomizer to an extent. <clears throat> but, like, at a certain point, there is, like, well... There is being stumped, and you can't look it up online. You know, it's 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 random. You don't know exactly where it could be. It could be anywhere. It could be a chest that you missed at the beginning of the game, like up here, for some reason. Because you never came back. I never came back to this place. There's a high chance it's here. But because there was no bosses up here, I never went and checked. Ooh. Her apparent fried fish and Damascus equipment. Okay, so wasn't that. The other solution is that it's an 8-bit nightmare for some reason. It's a drop from the boss in 8-bit nightmare. HP up. Garlic. Can't be down. Oh, man. Yeah, there's not a single warp around. I'm going to use this again. Go to 8-Bit Nightmare. Try that. And then, then throw up my hands in the air and just like grind off camera. It's probably some place that I'm missing it. We'll give one save first because there's a good chance that, um, I'm gonna fuck up. I think, wait, nothing drops from these guys, do they? Yeah, I need to go do, do it the way that I normally do this. Jump up here, slide. Jump. Jump. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. 
All right. Um, before that decides to act like a stupid thing, we go into here, and we're making our we're making an attempt at not the sin of man. Oh shit. I'm gonna get one health. Oh yeah, I couldn't do it because I wasn't facing his head. Hold on. Oof. I was in a bad position there. What are you going to give me? I swear to God, if I have to farm him, I'm going to be mad. Oh. <sighs> There's a chance I have to farm him. This might be a bust. It might be a bust. <sighs> okay, what level am I? One th I'm on level 31. Okay. You know what? I know there's more spaces, but I'm just going to stop for now. It's almost been three hours. Um, fuck. <clears throat> I'll probably just, like, farm stuff and try to figure out. <clears throat> Otherwise, I will probably not come back to this. It just depends. Hopefully, I wish there was, like, some way I can, like, look at the seed generator and just, like, go, okay, this is where it's at. Because at, this, at these points, I'm like, where the hell? Where the hell? <clears throat> which always sucks um but yeah uh thanks for coming out tomorrow night's yees um and then tuesday will either be more yees this or fall guys depending upon what whatever um wednesday after that is fantasy star online 2 episode 4 uh um once again i'm my mind's jumbled mess again um uh, thanks for coming out um thank you dev once again for rating me I mean, granted, I, I'm I'm at a point where I'm not. I don't I I don't need uh, more follows. I just need more um, like average views. But that's it still helps. Um, and um, yeah, th just thank everybody. <laughs> thank you everybody. <laughs> um, and I'll see anybody who wants to come out tomorrow night. All right. Good night.